Okay, hi, this is Blue again over at You Can Blue, and I'm going to need to do a blueprint for this camera so that when we start the actual game, slash level, slash whatever, um, it's going to load up the camera. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is do what's called a blueprint. So I'm going to save my map, and what I want to grab is the blueprints, and I want to open my level blueprint, and that gives me this here, which looks like a nice bit of graph paper. Okay, now this is going to affect my camera over there, so I'm going to select my camera and then I want to right click inside my blueprint and create a reference to my camera actor, just there, alright? Now, I need to add a node for this camera actor to connect to, so that we know that when the game starts we're doing something. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my viewport, and you notice I'm just typing set view target, turn off context sensitive and there it is, set view target with blend, okay? Just drag it to a sensible place. Now I'm gonna need another one, another thing as well, I need to get my player controller. So let's move these things to a nice place, I always like my nodes tidy. And then get player controller, there it is there. Just click on it. <coughs> and now all I have to do is just wire these things together. So this is event begin play, when we start the game, because that's technically what it is, it'll immediately start set view target with blend. Now for the target, I want that to be my player controller, so it's going to take over control of our player viewport. So I'll wire return value to target. And I want the new view target to be this camera actor. Okay, so again, I'm going to wire the output of the camera actor to the new view target. And I'm going to keep everything in the level exactly as it was. So blend time zero, everything else. Otherwise, if I change blend time, we'll get this kind of sequence where it slowly skips across. Click compile, close it down, and if I go over to play, now I've got to turn it off simulate and move it to play. There it is there, okay, and I'm going to play it in selected viewport. And there we go, there's zombie, look, it's doing the stuff we need it to do. Hooray! That's cool, we're happy. Ignore the fact that lighting needs to re be rebuilt, we'll do that once we've got everything else worked out. Because now it's the case that I need to move my camera a little bit, so that what my zombie's doing, it's doing basically on screen. I don't want its hands kind of coming off the top of the mobile phone. There we go. So they're still a little bit high, still a little bit high, so I'm going to move my camera back. Just a little bit more. Okay, and up a teeny bit. And now if I click play again, ah, oh, there we go. That's looking much better. Okay, I'm quite pleased with that. That's kind of working more or less exactly how I want it to work. Okay, so we've got our blueprints and everything else is looking okay. I'm just going to move my light straight in front. Now you notice that we've only got this one simple point light here. So I think what we need to do now is look at changing that one point light to something better.